<clears throat> okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to move or copy your iTunes library to uh, another computer. All right. Now, if you have a small library, you might be able to use maybe a, a CD or DVD. If you, but if you have a large library, you're probably going to want to use maybe an external um, hard drive. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and access that external drive first. So I'm going to go to Start, and then Computer, and then you're going to locate your external drive. All right. Just going to double click it and open it. And let me just get rid of this out of there. And what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and locate your iTunes library. All right, now it's typically going to be in uh, your music folder. And we just get go to start and then music. All right, and then we have iTunes here. All right. Now, if you're unsure if it's not located there and it's located in another di uh, directory, easiest way to find out where it is is to just go ahead and open iTunes. All right, and then go up here to the top and we're going to click the little drop down. And we're going to click on preferences and then we're going to click on advanced at the far right and right here uh, it displays the it shows the directory that your library is actually uh, located all right located in. okay all right so we're going to go ahead and close iTunes and go back where we were before to uh, copy the files so we're going to go to start and then music all right we're going to go to the iTunes directory we're going to open it and we're going to copy all we're going to copy all the documents oh what all the documents we're going to copy all the files that are in the folder all right we're going to copy them to the external drive all right okay and i'm going to go ahead and remove well i'm going to go ahead and remove these as an example all right this is going to represent the new system okay all right so once you manage to copy all your files all right you're going to go to uh the new system where you already have itunes installed all right, and if you're unsure of where the uh, well, matter of fact, you can pretty much put your library wherever you actually want. But it's advised just to use the uh, default location. All right, so we're gonna go right back to start, and then music on the news. This represents the new system. All right, and then we're gonna go to the iTunes folder. All right, and then we're gonna do the reverse of what we did before, and we're gonna drag all the files from the external drive to the uh, iTunes folder on the new system. All right. All right. Then at this point, we're going to make sure that we point um, iTunes to the uh, this particular library just to make sure if it's not already uh, you know pointed there. All right. We're going to go ahead and the easiest way to do this is to press the Shift key and while you're still holding down the Shift key, go ahead and open iTunes. All right. And now you can see we have the uh, Choose iTunes Library prompt here. So we're going to go ahead and click on Choose Library. All right. You're going to locate the folder where you just copied the files from. All right. Copy the files into. All right. And usually it's going to be under your libraries and then music and then iTunes. All right. And what you're going to do is double click on the iTunes Library file. All right. At that point, uh, iTunes should open up as it uh, you know normally does or it normally should. And you should have access to your uh, your playlists, uh, your uh, your your library, uh, your play counts, your ratings, and you know all your other data. Okay. All right, and it basically completes uh, the uh, migration or move uh, of uh, moving of your uh, iTunes data from one computer to another.